that's kind of broke down. Your, your hockey season from beginning in August, whatever, mid August, to March when you get in the playoffs is roughly around 36 weeks. And the first half, the first half of the uh, season right now is you're still still gaining some pretty good strength and all that. If you're expecting to gain a whole bunch of weight, all right, and a whole bunch of size during the season, okay, okay you need to go back and and revisit what you did over the summer and what you missed over the summer. Over the summer is where you're going to, you know, probably gain all your size, your strength, your power, all of that. During the season, it's all about maintenance, right? We're not going to be too heavy a weight. We're not trying to max out during the season on that one. We're still looking at you doing exercises, you know, that are going to last for 30, 45 seconds, okay, and be able to do reps of, you know, usually 10 to, 10 to 20 reps on most of, most of the exercises. Okay, do you understand that? So, um, again, you know, usually we're doing the season, we're doing about four weeks of fitness assessment testing, make sure we understand where everybody is, all right? So we can uh, kind of go back through with uh, mobility, insurance, keeping that going so that you're not going to on the ice, all right? The next five weeks, and okay, we start to add on a little bit more, Working on mobility, endurance, and strength. Okay, and then after that, we just kind of keep on building on with that. Endurance, speed, strength, speed and agility, and then mid-season, we want to make sure we are we are where we're supposed to be. All right, so we're going to reevaluate ourselves. Okay, we're going to test ourselves just like you do in school. All right, see what you learn, see how you're doing, the whole thing. See if we have to go back, regress, if we have to progress through that. Right, and most strength coaches are going to take those numbers. They're going to take a look at your time. They're going to take a look at your push-ups and sit-ups, your pull-ups. All right, to see what else they have to incorporate into that one. Um, you know, good strength coaches are also going to take a look at the injury levels. Right, what kind of injuries are going on in the club and your team? Shoulder injuries, knee injuries, hip flexors. Right, to see what we have to be doing and all that. Okay, and then throughout the rest of the season. So again. Okay, when are you gonna, when, what part of the season or the year are we going to be able to add increase, okay, increase your speed, or sorry, your strength and your power, okay, and your weight? Uh, the summer. During the summer, right? So you take a couple weeks off at the end of the end of the season, and we start about two or three weeks after, okay, and you start building on for that. You guys usually have through the summer about 14 weeks to try to accomplish all that, okay? All right. So again, we're gonna go through some uh, different levels of, and the base of how we are going to be able to lift weights and get stronger. The basic strength, again, the foundation of what we're looking for. So again, we take those, um, take that during the season here, eight to 10 weeks, we'll end to the phase that we're looking at right now to create this foundation. We're looking for insurance, we're looking for, again, stability, mobility in what we're doing here, okay? Um, off season here, we're looking for 30 to 40 percent. Okay, the days of just being on your back doing bench press or using machines, those are over. A lot of functional training, kettlebells, dumbbells, bands, cables. All right, all of those things are being used right now because that's that's how we play sport. Okay, that's how we live life. All right, we're not on our back, you know, lifting cars. Okay, we're not power lifters and all that. We're playing sports. Everything. Agility, everything that you're doing, moving around, okay? All right, doing that stuff, all right? The uh, repetitions, 12 to 15. We spoke about increasing our muscle endurance, okay? Average shift, what? For you guys, 14 years old, probably about nine seconds. You know, you guys watching you guys the last couple of days, you guys are not coming off the ice before 90 seconds, right? Okay, and that's just a whistle, all right? So, do you think you can go 100%, okay, for 90 seconds? You know the answer, okay? Okay, so how do we adjust that? Okay. Um, the number of stations, all right? We don't want to overtrain, but we want to make sure that we are working all of our body um, on, a, on a daily basis, okay? Again, you can look at circuits as well, depending on where you are, what you have access to, okay? Um, how much time do we need off in between the exercises? Roughly 90 seconds, okay? At this age here, 90 seconds, maybe two minutes. As you want to basically translate that on the ice and how much time you have off for a shift. Okay. And then 
uh, the number of frequency cooling, right? So all those things there, and build that program for you for the strength program. All right? You'll see these numbers start to uh, shrink okay, as we go through the next part. So we built the foundation of mobility slowly. Okay? We're getting a little bit more into the muscle insurance and strength. 